Books with Aldi Books, and I have a fun little stack of books to chat about today. I thought I would do a little Friday Reads video since I have filmed my last July wrap up three times and have deemed all three failures for various reasons. So, yeah, I'm off my game. <laughs> So I'm just going to try that again tomorrow. Um, maybe, maybe we'll be successful tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, so Friday Reads, the, um, my first finish for, um, what month are we in? <laughs> School has fried my brain. August. <laughs> the first read for August, I finished Clay Girl and... This is every bit as good as everyone says it is. Every bit as good. And is a strong, strong contender for my top book of the year. No doubt. So, I'll leave my thoughts on it for my wrap-up. But, yes, yes, yes. So, let's get into what I'm reading now. All these other books, <laughs> all at one time. Yeah, that's that's how I roll. So, um, Allie Smith, How to Be Both. I am buddy reading this with Kendra Winchester and having some good conversations. Um, the first half, absolutely delightful. And I got the, um, the one, I had forgotten this, and Kendra reminded me, but these were printed where some books had the girl's story first and the artist's story second, and some are printed to have the artist's story first and the girl's story second, and it's just fascinating. So I got the one with the girl's story first and was thoroughly just engrossed by Ally Smith's writing. It is something else entirely. It actually really made me want to dig out Faulkner and read The Sound and the Fury again. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's just extremely interesting. So many layers. It, it's a book that I would need to read that again just to get it all. For sure. So I am about a third of the way through the artist story now and enjoying it and it's it's quite different and yeah very fascinating and i hope to finish this one this evening i meant to finish it last night but per usual i fell asleep early which is a good thing because i'm feeling chipper today i'm not tired like i've been the last two nights so i'm gonna finish that tonight i think i have 120 pages left, so totally doable. Um, and then we're getting into Tome Topple. So that's why I wanted to finish that one last night because I wanted to have a clear slate for Tome Topple, but you know, oh well. So I started South Riding right before the bell rang um, to get out of school. I've only read a couple little bits um, from the introductory material but I've already put um, another book on my wish list I, I want to read it's Testament of Youth by Vera Britton I think um, I'm just fascinated like just from reading the introduction um, I think it was Vera Britton's daughter is Shirley Williams who wrote the preface to this I think I'm remembering that correctly and so, two women who discovered each other in college and became fast friends and both decided, I mean, to be writers, yeah, and, and then um, Winifred Holtby ends up living with their roommates for a while, Winifred and Vera, and then Vera gets married and Winifred stays with them interesting dynamic and so they both end up being writers and profound uh novels so yeah so testament of youth i'm going to put on my soon to buy wish list so that i can read it after this i just i just think 
think that would be fascinating to read them, knowing they had such a close relationship. Oh, and I'm I'm buddy reading this with um, Mel from Mel's Book Club Adventures, and she's already sent me something funny on page six, so I need to bust a move and get to page six so that I can giggle over her comments. And so I started my audiobook this morning for Tone Topple, and that's Jane Eyre. And I read this probably two or three times in my teens and 20s, and I'm vague remembrance, but I didn't remember that it started when she was a little girl. And I'm kind of wondering how what I'm gonna think of it as an adult because you know the innocence of childhood and you you don't really pay any attention to the discrepancy between um, classes and, and wealth and status when you're a kid it's just a story and then now it's like oh dear you know I don't know but I'm just curious to see what I think as an adult of a novel that I read as a child so yeah and it's going a lot quicker on audio. I mean, I thought it, it was going to be like 22, 24 hours, but I think it's it's going to be closer to just 20. It's going pretty quickly. And I'm doing it at that 1.25 speed, so even faster than that. So I'm pretty sure this is not going to be a problem to finish in the two-week Tone Topple time span. And I was reading Silas Marner, I mean, listening to it on audio, but... I think I'm going to put this on hi hiatus during Tome Topple while I finish Jane Eyre and then get back to it when I'm done. I am about 80 pages in to a 200 page book and so far it's just kind of blah blah blah. I mean it's fine. It's fine. But truly it's kind of blah blah blah. But I'll finish it. It's a quickie. So other than that, so I want to finish South Riding tonight. And I need to get, I don't want to finish South Riding tonight. That's a 500 page book that I haven't started. <laughs> I want to finish the Allie Smith tonight and start the South Riding tonight. And then I think if I finish Allie tonight, I think I'm going to start Nine Folds Make a Paper Swan tomorrow along with South Riding because I just like to have more than one thing going on that's just how I am and this one I actually have already started during right before book two but I started it I'm only 36 pages in but this was for a book club with Anna and Eric I'll try to remember to link their channels down below but yeah this was supposed to be finished the end of July but they haven't put up the video yet so I think I'm good if I finish it you know in the next few days, it's it's pretty chunky. Um, it's only it's like 330 pages, and um, there's a lot of white space around the edges, so maybe we'll see. We'll see. And also, we still have the breast, the breast, the brick, the brick beast, the concrete block. Um, I need to get back into War and Peace. And I was talking with Catherine from cover to cover, trying to come up with a plan for this. And I think with our expert guidance, what we have decided is that I'm going to try to read 20 pages twice a day. So, yeah. And that will get me done by the end of August. I'm not, I'm not going to try to finish this for Tom Topple. I'm just going to try to get it done by August. So, yeah. Those are my plans for this weekend, and we're going to go see the Dark Tower tomorrow. I hope it's not too scary, but I hope it's scary and cool. Anyway, I've never read the book. I don't read much Stephen King, but the movie looks good. Yeah. Anyway, I'll chat with you soon. Hopefully, I will get a lot of videos made this weekend when I can take advantage of good lighting and you want to see us guy you want to show them your little wow 
look at the blowout. Show them your dress. Are you embarrassed to wear your sister's hand-me-down dress? Hmm? No? Anyway, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.